guys, welcome to Sunnyside Up Food Reviews. And today I'm doing the frozen Cinnabon twist that should be in available in most grocery stores. Um, I got this from Publix and it was $3.99, but it was like a dollar off sale. So I guess, you know, normally it's $4.99. And this is basically like a cinnamon twist pull apart and you can see it's got like the frosting on there, the icing and a lot of bread, cinnamon bread. And it looks so good. I'm like, I gotta try this and see what it tastes like. Okay, so here's the first bite. Okay, it's not too bad. A couple dry spots though here and there because you know, it is frozen, so it's not gonna be as good quality as if you were to go to the Cinnabon in the mall and get them fresh, but it's not bad. Um, and the flavor-wise, if I can get, like the parts that are cooked super properly are like really good. And you can see it's like definitely got a lot of the cinnamon syrup kind of stuff and flavor's not too bad. It's just because it's a frozen food, it's kind of got like a weird vibe, but. I would maybe buy this again if I really wanted like, like a cinnamon bread. But it's not like, you know, the best cinnamon bread that I've tried. I'd probably, you know, be better off going to the mall, to Cinnabon, and getting it that way. So this you're just supposed to like put in the oven for 25 minutes on 375 I believe. So it takes a little time to cook and it comes in this microwavable like, or microwavable safe bowl and then oven safe bowl. And then you just put this on an oven tray and let it heat up. So it's pretty, you know, easy to make. It's kind of a long wait if you just like really want it now, <laughs> 25 minutes, but other than that, it's not bad. So. Rating wise, so I would give this a, I'd give this a 3.5 out of five. Because there's some like hard spots here and I definitely, I left it in just for the allotted time and like overcook it or anything. But there's like hard spots, then there's dry spots of like, just like that freezer burn type of thing. The middle part is the best part, the center of it, cause it's more gooey. And then you have your icing, and a lot of it's packed with decent amount of cinnamon flavor. But this, the, you know, the texture has just changed too much. It's like soft, hard, medium, <laughs> all in one, on one little piece. <laughs> but other than that, you know, 3.5 3 out of five. I give it a try if you're interested. The picture, you know, that looks amazing. The box looks really good. It's a good you know, selling point. <laughs> That's definitely the best part is the, the box, the gooey bite. They did a really good job with their packaging and making it look sellable. <laughs> it looks so yummy. And then it shows you the back. On the back it says ready in minutes, but not quite. Ready in 25 minutes. Unless you do microwave. The microwave is just for, six, or for 15 seconds and then one minute to cool. But you know how it is with microwaves, like that can be kind of, probably will come out the same way as well where it has its hard spots and whatnot, um, overcooked, undercooked, especially if it's gonna be cooked for that short amount of time, it's gonna miss some spots. But you never know, maybe it might come out better in the microwave. So if I get this again, I'll maybe try it microwave style. But um, thank you guys. So much for watching and please subscribe to see more videos. Have a good day guys.